Welcome family, friends, and loved ones. We are gathered here today to celebrate the wedding of Nick and Katie and to allow them to start their married life together surrounded by those most important to them. Nicholas, I can't believe today is our wedding day. It all feels so surreal. We have been warned by many that it can be exceptionally easy for today to get away from us. With that being said, I promise to remain present in the moment to fully embrace this day with you. Not only do I love who you are, but I love who I have become with you. We have already experienced our fair share of challenges, but we have always come out stronger as a result. See you soon, future husband. <laughs> love, Katie. Your journey began the moment you first met. Both Nick and Katie attended Bloomsburg University in pursuit of their bachelor's degree. Katie visited his apartment frequently to spend time with his roommates, but Nick was reserved and often kept to himself. In Katie's apartment, Nick had the nickname of Clark Kent due to his muscular stature and business attire. But fate brought them back together when Katie recognized him and reached out to him on a dating site. Their first date took place at a local carnival, which shortly after beginning was rained out. So weather clearly is always an issue. <laughs> but they didn't let this spoil their evening. They then decided to go to Brew Works where Katie laid out exactly what she was looking for in a partner, making it known she would settle for nothing less. Who is surprised? <laughs> they have begun building their lives together from the ground up, literally. Their first house project was installing a fence. So we laid out a couple holes, well the first hole. You'd probably have more luck trying to dig into your macadam driveway. But we went, we worked through it. I let them go for a day. I came back two days later without them knowing. At that point, they had completed 90% of the job. I knew then and there that this was something most people don't ever get to experience. Katie, I love you so much, and I can't believe we're finally here on our wedding day. You are the best person I've ever met, whose heart is strong and full of love. I love you more today than yesterday, and my love for you is never ending. I love you, Nick. Often, people ask if I knew when I was in love, and what I always tell them is, as a matter of fact, yes, I do. July 4th, 2019, we went to see the fireworks downtown. All the lights, sounds, and colors were magical. Seeing your face light up from the fireworks in short bursts were like small pictures I was taking in my mind of that moment. As we were walking to my car, you put your arm around mine. <clears throat> the rush of joy and excitement or like the magic of the fireworks. At that moment, I knew that one day we would be standing here together. Since then, my love for you has grown every day. One of my favorite things is every car ride we take where you sing so beautifully, I may add, the wrong words or just the last words of every line. The sound of your voice is like music to my ears. Your laughter is addicting and your smile is enchanting. And I'm the luckiest man in the world that gets to see it every day. Before you, I was perfectly content with experiencing life alone with only a dog. Since you, the thought of a life without you has become unimaginable. I remember our first date quite vividly. During our conversation, I told you that no man was going to receive the label of boyfriend unless I was certain we had a future together. At the conclusion of that date, you should have run, but you didn't. <laughs> At every moment of doubt, and every subconscious test to push you away, you silenced my fears and persevered. 
I promise to put our relationship first and work to never lose our spark, to pause and show compassion as we face challenges together, to encourage you to follow your dreams and challenge you to be the best version of yourself. I promise to make you laugh when you're taking life too seriously and build you up when you are feeling down. Lastly, I promise to never stop making up my own words to songs. The way that I have grown and loved since you have been in my life proves to me that the old saying is true, you are the reason it has never worked with anyone else. However, there is an old saying that I don't necessarily agree with, and that saying is I love you to the moon and back. The moon is about 238,000 miles away, it's roughly 476,000 miles there and back. Walking at an average rate of 3 miles an hour it would take you about 18 years. And for me, that's simply not enough. My saying of choice is I love you to the edge and back. And that edge is referring to the universe, which is ever expanding and therefore never ending. Nikki, you are my beautiful child. You are my ray of sunshine. And now here we are celebrating the first day of your marriage to the love of your life. I am confident, Nikki, that you are going to be the husband that Katie can count on. Katie, I love the love I see between you and Nick. I love to see the teamwork, the respect, and the harmony. I see a beautiful relationship. I really enjoyed getting to know Katie over the last couple of years. Um, she truly is the most kind, thoughtful person, and she has such a beautiful heart. Nick and Katie embody love, trust, and understanding in their relationship. And that is really something we all want for our friends and loved ones. I hope today shows how loved and supported you both truly are as a couple. Uh, so I am Nick's brother, Jim, and Nick and I go way back, all the way to the early 90s. We really started to come into our own for the first time back in New Jersey, where we pretty much lived a little kid's dream. Some of the greatest times we had on our own back then in that house had to do with our ridiculous collection of Hot Wheels cars. You know, what more could you ask for? Now that we've both made it to this most recent stage of life, We've started yet another new chapter, talking about our careers, sharing ideas about how to tackle our own home improvement projects, whatnot. And it's been really inspiring for me to see how good Nick has gotten at some of these things in such a short amount of time. I think Nick and Katie are very much alike in that regard. They're both very talented, humble, and that's part of the reason that they complement each other so well. Today is particularly special to me, getting to watch the guy that I grew up with get married to who is so obviously the love of his life. And I know Nick, and I can tell. And I could tell all the way back to the first time that I saw you guys together, truly. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Nick, you may kiss the bride. Katie, I vow to you that I will always be there to hold your hand through every storm and to sing with you in the sun, to protect you and to love you for the rest of my life and the next never ending.